in Learning Objective 4, we're looking at OCF sales volume and break-even points. What's the relationship between OCF and break-even points? What is OCF at the accounting break-even specifically? And we'll see that it is equal to depreciation. Uh, that is because EBIT is zero, taxes are zero, and MPAT is zero. We'll look at OCF at the cash break-even, which is um, equal to zero. And we'll look at OCF at the financial break-even. It's the point where NPV equals zero. So let's look at uh, break-even quantity, how we calculate it, the general break-even quantity, accounting break-even quantity, and how OCF, operating cash flow, enters into the equation. The general break-even quantity that is basically derived from just taking an income statement and breaking it down uh, quantity and solving for Q, quantity, fixed cost plus OCF over P minus V. Again, P minus V is a very important concept we must remember, and that's price minus variable cost, that's contribution margin. Uh, here's a sample income statement for ABCD company, and uh, sales for this company are 1,000, costs are 800, uh, depreciation is 200, no EBIT, no taxes, no MPAT. So in this case, we have accounting break-even. Uh, what is accounting break-even quantity behind this? It's the quantity that results in, or sales level, that results in zero EBIT, zero tax, and zero NPAT. So how many of these widgets do I need to uh, make and sell just to break even? So it's very interesting and useful analysis. A uh, reminder on this one, contribution margin is P minus V. It's in the denominator of all these equations, and we don't take interest expense uh, into, into account in this calculation. Uh, counting break-even quantity is equal to um, fixed cost plus D over P minus V. Uh, again, it takes the general formula, fixed cost plus OCF over P minus V. So if we go back a couple slides and look at ABCD company where we have accounting break-even, uh, we can prove that OCF is equal to depreciation. Traditional method of calculating OCF on this income statement would be EBIT plus D minus T. So we would take zero plus 200 minus zero. Answer, OCF equals depreciation of 200. So therefore, when you see the accounting break-even formula, you'll see fixed cost plus OCF over P minus V, fixed cost plus D over P minus V, OCF at the accounting break-even is equal to depreciation, key point. Put that in your notes and put a star next to that. OCF at the accounting break-even that we just proved is equal to depreciation. Uh, very easy to calculate, very popular in use. So you'll see this used heavily when you go to work. And... Um, it just, this is a project that just breaks even on an accounting basis, results in a loss in a financial sense and in an opportunity cost sense. When a project breaks even on an accounting basis, OCF is equal to D. Uh, it will give you a negative MPV and a zero return on investment. Second method we're going to look at is cash break even. Uh, this is the point where OCF is equal to zero. So the general quantity, break even quantity formula, should look like a, a OCF plus, zero, uh, let's say, fixed cost plus zero over P minus V. So OCF is zero in the cash break-even quantity case. So here we cover just our fixed cost, and we have an IRR of negative 100%. Break, cash break-even quantity, as I said, fixed cost plus zero over contribution margin. Again, it takes the generic formula, fixed cost plus OCF over P minus V. In this case, OCF is equal to zero. Finally, we'll look at a third break-even quantity, and that is financial break-even quantity, still the generic form, fixed cost plus OCF over P minus V. Financial break-even quantity is the sales level where quantity that uh, results in a zero NPV. So how do we calculate OCF in this case? Uh, it is investment over PVA factor. So our OCF is investment over present value annuity factor. So the formula for financial break-even quantity is fixed cost plus investment over PVA factor divided by contribution margin.